How's it going guys? In today's video I'm going to be showing you how we can create this sliding tab bar and it's going to look like the one from Android and when you tap on an element it's going to slide it nicely to that element. So of course you can switch between views here and eventually you can even add a swipe gesture so you can do the same thing as Facebook Messenger and drag it across. Although in this example we will not be covering that. I will just be showing you how to add the tab bar so that you can add this sweet effect. But to get started, we want to go ahead and use this repository and I will leave the link to this repository in the description box down below. So just go ahead and copy that. And inside our project, go ahead and click on file and add packages. And the first thing we have to do is search for a URL package. So just copy and paste in the full GitHub repository link and click on sliding tab view and add package. Then we can click on add package once again. And if you see your package dependency here, everything should be perfect. Now we can go to the content view. And the first thing we have to do, of course, is import the dependency, which is the sliding tab view. And right below that, we'll add a state variable. So private var tab index. And this will tell us which tab we have currently selected. Now inside here, we're just going to add a v stack with a sliding tab view. And this takes a few parameters or actually a lot of parameters. As you can see on this bottom one down here, we can animate anything we want, the active accent caller, inactive accent caller. So of course you're more than welcome to play around with those and add your own callers, but I'll just be covering the basic functionality so that you can get this running immediately. So of course the first thing we want to do is take care of the selection, which will be set to tab index. And here we need to insert some tab names. So it's going to be an array of string. And the first one I want to have is a home screen followed by friends and then settings. So those will be my tabs. And you can also specify how you want your animation to work. It can be default, ease in, ease out, and so on. I will add the ease in, ease out for this example. And as soon as you run the project, you'll notice that we'll have this tab bar right here. So it's also important that we add a spacer, of course, so that we push it all the way to the top, just like the native Android feel. Then inside here, we can add what happens when we select a tab. So for example, or actually I want to add a spacer below as well. And then we can go ahead and between these spaces type in, if the tab index is equal to zero, then we're just going to return a text view or just text that says home. Else if the tab index is equal to one, and of course you can switch this out with, with a switch statement if it makes it easier for you, but we'll just continue like this. We will add a text that says friends, else if tab index is equal to two, we will say text is equal to settings. So you're more than welcome to go ahead and add your own screens here. This is just for testing purposes. We have three texts and as soon as we run the emulator, you'll notice that if we click on friends, it will switch to the friends screen. Otherwise settings will take us to settings. So it's that easy to implement. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can also change the callers. So we can go ahead and type in active tab caller and change that to red if we want. Now, I mean, it looks quite ugly, but go ahead and experiment with these parameters because there's also other stuff that's a bit nicer, such as active accent caller, which can be set to green. This time we have this home over here. And I believe if we want selection bar caller, we can just type in dot green as well. And it's going to change the bottom one as well. Let's format that so it looks a bit better or maybe just close the sidebar. And we can do this. So as you can see by giving it an active accent color of green and a selection bar color of green, we now changed everything to green. So there's a lot you can do with this. You can change it however you like and mix and match if you want, but that just about covers how to use this bar. Now it's up to you to create something great out of this. But as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.